So this is our standard T-Tools cabinet scraper here that's uh, very popular. It's a very useful tool to have in your shop, um, especially if it's prepared correctly. These are made from spring steel, so they have a little bit of flex to them, but they also take and hold a really nice edge. They're also um, 32 thousandths thick, and they are hardened to 38 to 42 on the Rockwell scale, so not terribly hard. But the thing that's hard about these, they are kind of thick. They're kind of hard to bend. I mean, you can use them, but sometimes when I'm doing an extended uh, scraping session or for older thumbs like mine, it, it can be a little painful. So I like to have a thinner scraper on hand sometimes. And that's where these come into play. These are made in France. They're made from hardened spring steel, which is hardened to 48 to 52. So it's much harder and they hold an edge exceptionally well, but they're a little trickier to prepare. And I'll show you how I do it and get good results. Uh, they're 16,000 thick, so I can actually flex these, and I can actually get into nice, confined spaces with these if I need to. So I like having a set of these thicker ones here, and I also like having some thinner ones around. So let me show you how I prepare this scraper. So this comes out from the factory in France. This, this is rough, this edge is rough, it's been punched, so I need to do some work on it. So I'm gonna use my cabinet uh, preparation kit here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick the scraper in the vise, Gonna use my rulers here. This gives me an exact 20 thousandths of an inch protrusion sticking out of the device. When I tighten it down, it works fantastic. See, now I got 20 thousandths sticking up. I'm gonna put this in my vise over here. And I'm gonna get my file and I'm gonna clean that edge up. And I file just enough until I see fresh steel and no defects. So there we go. So now I go to my 80 micron film and I'm just gonna take out my file marks. I'm gonna put it over here until I see a smooth edge all along and I got it. Now I gotta go and I need to polish that edge. I need to take it down to 40 microns, which is what I'm doing here. It's working great. And I polish just until I can see a nice shine all the way along and I got it. So now I need to take my scraper out of the vise and I'm going to use my magnet handle here. And I'm gonna use one of these strips. This is, a, this is the old ruler trick. It raises the scraper up just a little bit so the honing, it happens right on the edge. I'm gonna go back and forth on this just until I see a polished edge right there. See, I got it. Now I'm gonna do it again on this side here. I just need to hone until I see a polished edge. And I can see a polished edge. So now this scraper is ready. I've filed and honed the face. I've honed the faces or the edge and I've honed the faces. Now I'm going to put it in my vise and I'm going to use my AccuBur. Now what I found is that I need to use the aggressive hook or the aggressive groove on the AccuBur to get a good burr on these hard scrapers. So I've already put some oil on this so I'm going to run this over a couple of times until I feel a burr. Probably three times. Yeah, I can feel a burr. You can hear that? That means I got a nice burr. So now, this is a piece of bloodwood, very hard. Let me show you how this thing works. See now, look at those, look at those shavings I'm getting. So now, I've just, I've just put a burr on a really hard scraper and almost no time at all. And I have a nice thin scraper that I can use to scrape into you know, more refined areas. Now, the other thing that I want to bring your attention to is we also have these scrapers in a concave convex shape, and also the gooseneck. So you can pick these up at taytools.com and also pick up an AccuBur and pick up a cabinet scraper prep kit to make your preparation go much easier.